Good morning and welcome to Skagway. As you can see, we are docked and uh, got up, shower shaved. Well, not shaved today. Today's a no shave day. But went down, had Eggs Benedict at one of the restaurants, and it was a poor Eggs Benedict today. No runny eggs. Other than that, it was all right, but it's supposed to be runny. Anyway, so we are about to jump on a train, the Skagway train. And apparently, Skagway is surrounded by Canada. It is like an inlet. Fish ladder. Cool. So here's our train. We're pulling up the rear, people. What do you think we're going to see? Scenery or animals? Scenery. It Good says scenery. That there is a possibility of seeing beavers, porcupines, foxes, marmots, goats, sheep, moose, and caribou. Possibly. I want to see a moose. That would be really cool. I'm not getting off the train until I see a moose. Okay. Ask them. Today I'll paint a picture of why the White Pass was built in the town of Skagway through the White Pass Summit. And I will also introduce you to the many characters that help build this history. We are on a narrow gauge rail. This is less common in the United States. The United States uses a little more standard gauge, which narrow gauge is 36 inches, standard gauge is 48 and a half. That is a big smile. <laughs> the stories of the building of the railroad start with the Klondike Gold Rush, but that was only the beginning. I'll share stories of the people that were instrumental in the dreaming of the railroad, the building of the railroad, and the completion of the railroad. We will be climbing nearly 3,000 feet in a little over 20 miles. If you want to follow along, there is an all aboard on your seats. You will see the points that I speak of. You can follow along where we are on our journey.
was the White Pass train through Skagway. I guess Skagway is the river. It's also the name of the town. And uh, we had a great time on it. Lots of beautiful scenery. The fact that they let you stand at the back like we were for a bit is just amazing. That's another really cool part. Uh, you gotta take turns. A lot of people wanna take pictures. But standing uh, on the back of the train, try to get there late so you're on the back of the train. And then you have access to this and then you can uh, take a lot of pictures and have a good time. So this is definitely a go out and do it now. So this is the downtown Skagway. We've got some locomotives, old ones they don't use anymore. They sent one of their only working steam engines away for two years to work on the boiler, but it's uh, in the repair shop once again while they get it ready for the next run. Apparently they only use it about two times a week. A, B. Camp Skagway, number one. That's the, the whole facade of that building is logs, little sticks. So this is pretty much the whole town, all the way down to the very end where you see the mountain. And then all the way down this way, back to our ship. Looks like our ship's gonna come down and pick us up. Ooh, Skagway tie. Look at that gorgeous bike. A URAL. Never heard of it in my life. But it's very, very cool. Little gas tank, sidecar action. Beautiful. Skagway Brewing Company. That's where we're going to be making our first stop. We're still at this Skagway Brewing Company in Carroll Hyde the chicken fingers all the way from Alaska. <laughs> uh, I've had a couple of beers. I tried the blonde and then a, an ale. The blonde was way better and that's their signature beer actually. It's on their, their spruce tip blonde and that's their signature brew and it was awesome. Uh, and then I tried the prospector pale ale, not as good. And then I'm gonna try the Klondike gold before we go. But uh, I also did the the fish and chips, which they she punched in wrong. Excuse me. And I think I got like an, uh, they brought like a sandwich. It was like a fish sandwich thing. So she, so they had to like quickly change it up. This is the fish and chips. I think it's $22. I don't know how much that was. Do you remember what that was? I was $14. $14 for some chicken and fries. They're good size. It, it is good size, but because we're so out in the wilderness, basically out in the middle of nowhere, and it costs so much money to bring this food here. Uh, although chances are, they may have got that here. Probably. Hmm. We are finished lunch. Lunch was amazing. Very expensive. It was fifty-four dollars before tip. So my fish and chips was twenty-two dollars. I don't remember. Carol said she was thirteen, plus a couple of beers. $54 American. Now we're just uh, wandering up and down Skagway. Wandering or wandering? Wandering. Wandering. Wandering around. You wandering. How many beers did you have? I said wa <laughs> I said I said wandering mm. up and down Skagway.
How you doing? Doing well, doing well. Showtime's gonna start here in a few minutes. You should bring it on in here, we can use it. We've got a show starting up at 2.30, honey. You can take all the pictures. One sleepy dog. Oh, so hey, buddy. You're exhausted. That's what cruises do to you. 